Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Gladiatora. Today we're going to be exploring some more of the storyline and also possibly finding another recruit to add to the team. Uh, I got a special version from the developer that has my save on the updated version, so that should be fun. And we'll get to check out uh, all the new stuff that he added. Let's get to it. Oh, look, there's a person over here. Bridget, Bridget, is that you? Tara, it really is you. I have been through so much to find you. I don't know what to say now that I've... I finally found you. I missed you so much. Come here, Bridget. Give your sister a hug. I have missed you more than you can know. Where have you been? I haven't seen you since we were taken as slaves. I think about that day always. It was difficult for a time. The Lannister sold me to a Dominus in Rome, and I was used in his Ludus as a servant. Things could have been worse. I managed to escape while the medicus was checking my wounds. I had worn deep cuts on, into my wrist with my shackles and knew that would present, <laughs> and knew that would present me with the needed opportunity. You always were the resourceful one, Bridget. How did you manage to find me all the way from Rome? That is a great story. I needed money and supplies, so I went around stealing what I needed from the Ludises and the Lannistas. I heard many interesting tales as I snuck through the shadows. There was one particular Ludus in a small town, to the west of where I heard the, a tale that grabbed my interest. Tales of a great female warrior emerging in the Gladiatora, as deadly and as beautiful as they say. I followed the one who told the story and caught him in a compromising position upon the toilet. He was quite eager to tell me what I wanted to know with my blade at his throat. That is a great story. You have taken a bit back for the little ones out there. You should be proud, sister. I know I am. I am the proud one. My big sister is becoming a legend in the arena. Now... How about we free you from your ludus and make your doctori pay like no one, like none ever has? Oh, Bridget, you must understand our situation here. I, well, I care deeply. I care deeply for our Dominus. In fact, I am Domina here. You are what? How? Why are... This is our ludus. We took it from our old Dominus when Trigon, our new Dominus, him down. Now we recruit those willing to fight with us, and together we will begin to carve out our place among the legends. We must keep what we do hidden from the magistrate, however. If he finds out what we do, he would surely see us on posts. That is a better story than my mine, big sister. You truly fight against the evils of our world. I regret not being with you take this Ludus. Together we would have made memories that one could never forget. Still, there are plenty more evil out there to defy. These slave masters in the arena, for those that have no say sicken me. One day, all the evil slavers will be long dead, and no person will be owned by another. I want to be part of that coming to light. Perhaps together we could hasten the arrival of a better day. You are already one of us, Bridget. I have a large bed. I bet it is the most comfortable thing you have ever laid upon. You can stay with me so you don't need a bed of your own. It will be like when we were young. Lead the way, sister. Oh, before I go, I hid my weapons in that well. Will you grab them for me? I think I'm going to need them. 
You found Bridges's personal claw and a weathered old Kestis. All right, now we got a new member. There. Change her out for Bridget. And we're gonna equip Bridget. The man opener, huh? All right. All righty. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and get Bridget some experience. Do, 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 do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dark over here. Maybe I should pull out my torch. See if I can remember how to do this. And then Alt. No. Control. Yeah, Control does it. Now I can see. Oh, what fortune! This rotten mud spreads and spreads. One day, Gladiatora will be completely engulfed and surely lost to history. This mud is of a toxic variety. Exposure can be quite painful. As a teacher, I would offer to teach a method of resisting the mud's assault, if only for a short time. Materials, however, are costly to one's pockets. I have materials to teach this lesson, but I must be reimbursed for the supplies. If you would wish a lesson in survival, then I would charge 200 denarii. This is a fair price for what I offer. Okay. Okay, now, watch me as I work. What we need to create is a covering for our feet and legs. These coverings are called mud slickers. The material can be costly, but the life saved is well worth a heavy cost. Start with cutting up four leather sheets, like so. Next, the secret ingredient. Take a jar of wood sealant and coat the leather sheets. This will seal the leather against the mud, but also hasten its deterioration. The sealant gives the slickers a short lifespan, so be sure to use them while in the mud. Do not waste such a useful item walking around on rock or sand. Finally, take the coated leather and bind them to your legs like so. You'll need eight leather straps to secure the slickers in place. And with that, you are done. One last thing to remember, though. As I said, the sealant deteriorates the leather. Add walking to the equation, and the lifespan will be very short. These slickers only last for 150 steps. So venture forth wisely. You have learned how to tinker mud slickers. You were also given the one simly crafted. All right. And now goodbye. Ah, as I step into the mud. Flex. Yeah. Ooh, is that a shovel? You found an old shovel wedged in the deep mud. Upon taking it, you notice a bound letter was wrapped around the handle. You may want to read that note when you are able. It is located in your inventory under the special tab. Nope. Uh, I hate these mud flats, man. Um. Ow, oh, in a fight. Your torch lights the field. See that? I can see. Alright. Orator. We are going to demean... Nah, they're pretty weak bandits. 
Let's go ahead and we're gonna invigorate our team. She's 518. What level is she? <laughs> On a hunch, you plunge your hands deep into the mud. Despite the pain caused, you feel something hard and pull with all your might. With great effort, you manage to free the unknown item while hoping it isn't bone or rock. Clearing off the thick mud, you see that the mystery item is in fact a bundle of four copper ingots tied with an old rope. What a wonderful find indeed. What I wonderful find indeed. I get that flax, you know. I guess I should go see the Magistrate at some point. We found someone's bone wedged in the deep mud. We have received the mysterious bone task. Find a use for the mysterious bone. Discover use for this old bone. Discover alternate use for this old bone. Hmm. Alright. This is an interesting looking area over here. A dilapidated building of some sort. An old chair sunk in the mud, huh? That old chair needs a little work. It odd that I'm not taking damage anymore on the mud. My torch lights the field. Okay. Oh, jeez. Everyone's dead. That must be why. All right, we're going to bring in a squad. And the rows are correct. They strike this bandit striker. Gotcha. All right. Sorry, I punched that mutt in the face. Yes, so that is why I was not taking it. I don't know if I can get out of here this way, but I'm gonna try. Ugh, so close. Alright, there's a level 7, so we're gonna throw sand in that eye. Got it. He just sand me. Oh, they're throwing mud. Uh, entangle. Oh, he's. They're all pretty high level. Take out this level five, hopefully. Mm 
Boom, the overhand right. Um, let's just go ahead and try and take her out. Oh, Brannis is down. I'm gonna switch out Brannis. Get out of this mud flat. I just earned Trigon's Bond. A bond offers another recruit the same special ability as the bond's namesake. These bonds cannot be removed once equipped, and a bond cannot be equipped to the person it is named after. Congratulations! Sex has reached bond level 1. And then the same thing with Stara. Not for Brannis, though. For Brannis. Let's see. I'm going to head back up to the Ludus and take a nap. And I'm going to see if Bridget has enough JP to learn Rosand yet. What tasks. Learn skills. Bridget, and she can learn throw sand. Sweet. Although she does a ton of damage. I don't know if I ever want to be wasting her turn throwing sand, but... Let's go ahead and head down to the arena for a battle. Uh-oh. Let's see, we are going to... Breaks and a level four Sagittari. I'm gonna lower their hit rate. And I'm gonna blind this breaks. I'm gonna fail to blind that breaks. It was going to use cross up on the Thrakes. Raged first. Cabrius. Uh, um, pull that shark strike. Joe's turn again. We're going to orate. Bridget. Hit her with sand. Damn it.
Ooh, Hypno Joe's already reached his bond. Villa's got her bond. Cabrius has got his bond. Let's check out some of these bonds. So Trigon gives 20% counterattack rate. Um, X gives heroic. Um, Stara increases evade rate. Stilla boosts damage to Daimakari and raises resistance to them. Once equipped, not be removed. Cabrius, this bond offers 5% HP regeneration. Hypno Joe, charmed. 5% chance to charm your enemies into attacking their allies. Okay. I think I'm going to hold on to these for now. I don't want to waste them. Go talk to the magistrate. Brannis regains consciousness. Well, hello there, Hypno Joe. I see you finally find your way to see me. You are from the Ludus just to the north, are you not? Indeed. It seems you are well informed. How may I help you? Well, well, your Ludus reputation appears to be looking positive. Keep striving hard to improve your station within the city. Fall behind and you may see the cells. For now though, you are free to leave if you wish. Count blessings that you are, so far, a good citizen. Alright, my task has been updated. And now we have the task of keeping the magistrate happy. Now let's go back to Erdris. And let him know how it went. Good thing we had Hypno Joe talk to him because Hypno Joe can talk. Tasks. Our group received 100 experience for completing the task. Be the magistrate. Congratulations. Brigand is now level 6. Continue working on the magistrate's tasks. But while you do, I have another errand for you. We are a new Ludus in the eyes of the community. Because of this, battles offered in the arena are low challenge. To truly test the merit of my training, we must obtain permission to access the tier 2 arena boards. This is done by presenting the arena's owner with a Ludus seal. Unfortunately, the old Dominus did not yet purchase our seal. Had not per yet purchased our seal. On top of this, they are very expensive. Out of our current range, to be sure. I have an old friend who works at the arena. I called in a favor with him, and he has agreed to stash a seal for us. But he is not sure where he will be able to hide it as he must wait for his opportunity to make one disappear. He said he would hide it somewhere around the East Arena Hold. Search the area and find the seal. Once found, deliver it to Keros in the name of our Ludus, and then return to me. Good luck, and stay secretive while searching for the seal. We do not want to be found out now. We have received the task Ill-Gotten Ludus Seal. 
All right. Let's lose arena contenders. How hard are the arena increase your rankings to take second place? All right. Gonna go ahead and drink some water here. And then I wanna look at the arena rankings. All right, champions, Setonius Ludus, ranking 69. Contenders, Corrigus Ludus, ranking 31. Otter, Levatia Ludus, ranking 17. So we gotta get above 31. Now we're gonna head to the East Arena Hold. Um, uh, I guess I go in from up here. Yeah. Now, where, oh where, would you hide an arena seal? Nothing in the box. Dried blood. Poor souls. More bones from the those who died upon the arena sands. Found Aaliyah's spear and net. I didn't have that before? Or maybe I did. Alright, well, I'm not finding this uh, arena token thing or whatever it's deal. Maybe that's not considered the hold. Yep, East Arena hold. It should be in here somewhere. Maybe he hasn't stolen it yet. Maybe I have to go out the south here. I wonder if this is still considered the hold. Found it, look at that. Fresh water. Alright, so now we gotta take this to the Arena Master, dude. Yes, I know you. I have seen your band around my arena. Just a beginner, though. Not worthy of a true challenge. Ah, but we are worthy. We come to present you with this Ludus Seal. We are eager to see this greater challenge you speak of. Our Ludus will bring much excitement to your sands. Hmm, let me see that. I don't know how you managed this, but it is a seal. Funny, one was recently stolen from my hold. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, I suppose that would be foolish of you. Besides, how could you have gotten into my restricted area? Very well, I accept this seal. I will send word to your Ludus once we have made preparations for your new access. And I do expect you to bring this excitement that you speak of. I will not allow an eventless fight. 
I expect you to help fill these seats. Alright. Let's look at our tasks. Gotta go tell the doctor what happened. That's an ongoing one. That's reach level two. Wait. And we got the mysterious bone. Gotta upgrade our storage. That's easy. Uh, free the prisoner. Hmm. Oh, we gotta kill 30 wolves, too. You have done well, my friends. I have received word that preparations have been made, and we may now select from among the Tier 2 Arena Boards. The Arena Board will now offer many different battle options, which will switch daily. The more difficult the battle type, the greater reward. Some battle types, however, have fame requirements to be attempted. So be sure to keep building your fame. Now go and show Karos he was not wrong in accepting our seal. In addition, I have had Bravis construct a trainer's gong for the Ludus. This will be very useful. The way it works is, you will first choose a recruit to slot in the trainer's gong. This recruit will be removed from the party as long as they are slotted as a trainer. 10% of the stats from the recruit you choose will be given to all other recruits. The equipment is taken into account when calculating your boost, so make a strong warrior and slot them as a trainer. Finally, having a trainer slotted will help me do an Help me to do my duties. This will generate an extra doctory point at any time, any time you would earn them naturally. All right. I have received a request that I would deem very important. A small group of slaves came to us asking for help. They had recently broken free of their captors in the lower flats but had to leave some behind in doing so. While they were fleeing Gladiatora, they were told of our mission here, and thought we may be the only ones able to help. They did not wish to join us, they only wished to be free of the land. But they asked that we go and eliminate the bandit threat and save any slaves still held by them. This will be a difficult task, I am told the bandits there are quite powerful. I would not attempt this with a group under level 15. The way into the lower flats was cleared when the slaves escaped. You should be able to enter the area, but be warned. The entrance is through the bandit camp in the southern area of the mud flats. You will have to make your way through them to reach the new area. Good luck on your mission, and please. Do not try this deed before you are ready. I do not wish to lose any of you. All right. Got a uh, mission that we can't do yet. We could try, but... Uh, Ludus Storage. Would you like to spend 15 Doctor Points to increase our Ludus Storage by 20 slots? You currently have 48 Doctor Points. Do it! Our group has received 50 experience for completing the task, upgrading the storage. Congratulations. Bridget is now level 4. Our Ludus, Ludus storage has increased by 20 slots. Let's see if we can get some training in real quick. Back. Your gladiators have gained two points in attack. Very well done. Can we do it again? You do not have enough doctorate points. Alright. I'm gonna go to sleep then. Actually. I think what I want to do is go fight some wolves. Mm -hmm. 
I found a fish in the net. One wolf. Doing that. Did she blind him with her attack? I gotta check out that weapon she's got. Chance of inflicting, inflicting bleed, injured, and blind statuses. Nice, that is a great weapon. gonna pull that torch back out because it is dark here all right guys I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it for today's video um, let me know what you all think and we'll go ahead and get back at it next time Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content, and have a good one.